what is up, epic strugglers. I'm back with another Berserko video. And today I have the Berserk starter box. Look at that beauty. This starter box includes uh, four half decks for all four factions. Uh, so black, uh, black, red, white and green. Um, each half deck has a rare card. If you look at this it says that uh, the Zod is a rare. But that's a little misprint because that Zod is actually an uncommon. The red faction has another um, rare card in it um but um but without any further ado they still have these little tape things um so i'll open those up and i'll be back in a second let's see if i can open this without uh ruining the box very delicate operation here um so what will we pull out first so that's the two um or actually the four half decks they seem to be in um, very pristine condition of course there's the enemy um, wrapper around the decks which uh, is very hard to <laughs> take off uh, and here we have the white and green and this is black and red then we have the rule book so um, I might actually take some time and look into this. Here's a little spoiler of what's in the deck. This beautiful Griffith and Griffin card. Okay, okay, cool. Um, of course, this is by Konami as well. So the rule book is, uh, it kind of looks similar to, uh, to a Yu-Gi-Oh rule book, to be honest. Yes, very nice. So that's the rule book. Um, and I think we're getting to the uh, the art card. So I'm going to keep that upside down so I won't spoil it. That's this. Uh, we have the playmat. And I think this is the playmat for just the five cities. All right. Um, here's a little... Um, questionnaire I think and um, there are four different art cards there's Casca, Griffith, Guts or Zod which one did we get? we got Mr. Zod very cool not for sale just making sure that you know that very cool so when this game was still up and running, um, you could uh, get a chance of uh, getting one of these signed by uh, Kentaro Miura himself. Um, and those are actually on eBay for quite a, uh, quite a hefty price, I'd say. Most of them are the Zot ones, I think. Maybe some Gutses as well. And here are the um, City cards, which I'll keep in the plastic for now. I'll put some uh, pictures of the other ones because there's one of these and then four regular cities. Um, I'll put those on the screen, but for now I'm just going to keep them sealed for a little bit. Um, let's start with the uh, white and red deck. With the incredibly tight... Oh no, it's... No, it's okay. Not as tight as the uh, Toys R Us decks. This one has a little nick on the corner, but at the, at the time of recording this, I have like 15 of these. So uh, that's not too big of a problem. So we have some mercenary cards. Um, we have another un oh, we have another common, I mean. So just a lot of uh, generic white faction cards. Uh, a few characters as well. I don't know which character this would be. I think that's just another army card, I think. Uh, also a common. Some of these. So, of course, they're like uh, a starter deck. So, there are a lot of um, the same cards in here. 
another, another army card. Very cool, very cool. So a lot of commons so far. Um, here is the rare for the white faction, which is a uh, an effect card with Griffith on it. So I think every color uh, comes with a rare. So that was the so there are just commons for the white deck, and then one rare. Okay, I know that the red faction has some uncommons as well, but apparently the white deck just has commons and one rare. So that's it for the white cards. So for the green, for the so for the green deck, uh, which is the um, black swordsman and his traveling party, basically, uh, we have some mercenaries. If you're if you're into the uh, berserk TCG, you've seen these a lot already. Um, here we have the green rare, which I also got in the Toys R Us decks, but this time we have it with a way better looking black border. We have uh, Casca playing with Puck. So another Casca card, but a common this time, a few of those. Uh, which is actually kind of nice to see because like the white cards were all just like armies, not individual characters. Um, we have some Serpicos. This card is actually advertised on the back of the uh, Toys R Us Black Swordsman deck, but isn't in the deck at all. But it's in the starter box. Two of those, really cool. Um, we have a Shirke card. She seems to be having kind of a bro yeah. moment uh, on this artwork. So two Shirkes. Uh, uncommons as well, wow. And then we have two uh, effect cards with uh, Farnese on it. Quite a few steps above the white deck, in my opinion. But um, so two rares so far a Guts and a Griffith. Pretty cool. And then um, let's get to the uh, black and red deck. Of course, you can't have a deck without these cards. So a few of those. All right. We have some spirits attacking guts. So if you want to check out some of these artworks uh, for a bit longer, you can uh, feel free to uh, pause the video for a bit, no problem. We have guts and the uh, lost children, or fighting them, I guess. We have a nice close-up of a troll. Very nice, and these look really crisp very very happy with that um so yeah two of these trolls and then sadly or at least for me the uh, <laughs> uh the rare for the black faction isn't um anything exciting like a muscus or a uh, rosine or what else is there uh but just an ogre but um pretty cool a um four four uh, character card with no effect, just some flavor text. So I guess it's a uh, a cheap, uh, an easy to summon beat stick, I guess. Uh, then we have a very old guts artwork. I think I'm. I don't know who that in the who that is in the background. No idea. But a black effect card. Two of those, just a common. Um, then we have uh, Farnese and Casca being abducted by the trolls. So two of those, and that was the black faction deck. So, so far the only deck that had just commons was the white one. Um, so the red deck, here we go, we have some more uh, mercenary cards. There we go. Uh, a common... Um, well, army card, I guess. Pretty strong, 4-2. Uh, another <laughs> army card with a uh, locus on it. That's pretty cool. 3-2. Uh, Some demon archers. Let's see if we can get a close-up of, uh, of these lovely gentlemen. No. no. Uh, just a comment, too. Uh, so this has a lot of commons as well, so it might just be, uh, no, no, I know that there's an uncommon in this. Um, so another army card, lots of those, lots of those. Ooh, oh, yes, and here we have the 
coup de gras of the um, Berserk starter box. We have Griffith and his Griffin. Nice idea for a sitcom, Griffith and Griffin. Um, this is the cover artwork for uh, volume 21 of the manga. And this was actually the card that ever since I heard about this game, this was the card I wanted. And it's actually just a guaranteed rare in the starter box, which is uh, pretty amazing. And then to polish this opening off, we have two uncommon uh, Zods. So uh, every deck, uh, every color had a rare card. So the white rare was this one, uh, a nice Guts, an Ogre, and the one and only Griffith. So a very cool product. Uh, you get some really nice cards in this, especially the rares and uncommons. I kind of wish they also um, put in a more recognizable or more uh, influential character for the black deck instead of just an ogre. Um, like I know there are some really cool uh, Rosine cards I think in, vo in volume 1 because all these cards are from uh, volume 1. Very cool product, um, really cool cards. If if you ever see one of these on uh, eBay, definitely try to pick one up. These big art cards are very nice as well. And mine is actually in really nice condition too. Um, so it's going to be a little hard to uh, keep these, but I'll find a way. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, uh, I'm really happy that I can boost my Berserk TCG collection a bit more again. Um, I actually got an entire new binder just for the Berserk cards. They are hard to find, but whatever I can find and buy, I'll do a video on. And maybe this might um, motivate some Japanese eBay sellers to uh, put more Berserk cards on sale, because I'm definitely interested in those. What? There's no Skull Knight in the green deck? Well, who needs Skull Knight? When you have Skeleton Paladin. What the fuck?